Today we will learn three dimensional shapes cube, cuboid, prism and pyramid. In our daily lives we see different things such as books, football, tables, dice, ice cream cones, etc. All these shapes are solid. These shapes are not flat like rectangles, circles, etc. We call them three-dimensional shapes. Let's understand them. There are three figures here. The first figure is a line segment whose length is 5 cm. Here we have described this line segment only on the basis of length, that is, only on one measurement. In this way, if we can describe a figure on the basis of just one measurement, then we call it as one-dimensional figure. The ray, the line, is also a one-dimensional figure. Talking about the second shape, it is a rectangle whose length is 5 cm and width is 3 cm. Can this rectangle be described here based on just length or just width? Think, think. No, here it is necessary to tell us both measurements. To describe a figure where we have to tell two measurements, then it is called a two-dimensional figure. In short, we write 2D for two-dimensional. Generally, all flat shapes like squares, pentagon, circles, etc. are two-dimensional, that is, 2D shapes. So can you now tell how many measurements are necessary to describe the third shape? Think, think. Absolutely right. This shape is a cuboid. To describe it, we need to tell the measure of its length, height as well as width. A figure in which we need three measurements to describe is called a three-dimensional figure. In short, we write 3D for three-dimensional. Generally, all solid shapes such as cube, cuboid, prism, etc. are three-dimensional or 3D shapes. Let us know about three-dimensional or 3D shapes. Cuboid Can you tell how many flat areas it is made of? Try it. Let us tell you. You can see that here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 is flat area. Thus, the box of matches is made up of six flat areas. The upper flat area of a solid shape is called its faces. Hence, there are a total of six faces in the cuboid. Now look at the intersection of any two faces. Here you will see a line segment formed. The line segment at which faces of solid shapes meet is called an edge. If you look here, there are total 12 edges of the cuboid. Similarly, when three edges of a solid shape meet at a point, it is called a vertex. So now, can you tell how many vertices a cuboid has? Try! Let us tell you. Here the vertex is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. The shape of the cuboid can be seen in a brick, cupboard, box, and table. Try yourself to find some more objects of this shape. Now let's see what a cube is. If the length, width and height of a cuboid are equal, we get a cube. That is, a cuboid with all its sides equal is called a cube. For example, you must have used a dice to play this is a cube. Similarly, we can see that Rubik cube, ice cube, etc. are of cube shape. Like the cuboid, the cube has 6 faces, 12 edges and 8 vertices. Have you seen an object of this shape in your science lab? Try and remember. 
This is a prism. A prism is a solid shape whose two faces are identically parallel. One of these two faces is called the base and the other one is called the upper end. Apart from these two faces, the other faces of the prism are parallelogram. The prism is named after the base shape. As the base of this prism is triangular, so it is a triangular prism. You can see that this prism has five faces, nine edges and six vertices. Similarly, if the basis of this prism is square, then such prism is called square prism. So now tell, if the base of the prism is rectangular, then what shall we call such a prism? Think, think. You are absolutely right. We will call it rectangular prism. You must have seen pictures of the famous Egyptian pyramids. If you look carefully, you will see their shape in this way. As you can see, in this shape the base can be the shape of any polygon. But the rest of the faces are triangular. We call such a shape a pyramid. Like prism, we name the pyramid by the shape of the base. As the base of this pyramid is triangular, so it is a triangular pyramid. Here you can see that this pyramid has four faces, six edges and four vertices. Now look at this pyramid. The base of this pyramid is square, so this is a square pyramid. Can you find its face, edges and vertex? Pause the video and try it yourself. Now look here. This is a cylinder. This is cone and this is a sphere. As you can see, there are three faces in the cylinder, which have two flat faces and one curved face. In this, we also see that there are two edges, but there is no vertex in it. The cone has two faces out of which one is flat face and the other is curved face. Similarly, it has a vertex and an edge. Talking about the sphere, it has one face, but it does not have an edge and a vertex. So today we learned the three-dimensional shape, cube, cuboid, prism, pyramid. In the next video, we will see some examples regarding this topic.